John Schumer Products video training. What I want to talk about now is, uh, of course, we talked about uh, setting the uh, outputs. Okay, so with a dual uh, adjustable pump, the one that would have speed and stroke, like in some of the bigger ones that we'll talk about in some other series here, uh, you would have uh, a ratio between the two to make the output. Okay, this pump here only has speed adjustable, so to get half of the output, you turn it to half of the speed. Very, very basically. Okay, so remember that it is 360 strokes a minute, not 100 strokes, so that 180 is half of it, or 90 is a quarter of the output. So, uh, keeping that in mind, just set it basically what you see on your screen there. I'm going to turn it up to 360, and you'll notice that when you hold it down, it does speed up. And at 360, it will stop before it switches back over to one. It only has an up arrow key, doesn't go up and down. You should only have to set it once. It really shouldn't be that much of a problem. Um, if you're, you know, changing your things or you're controlling this with a controller, I would suggest making adjustments to the controller, making this thing no longer there, because it's a lot easier than doing this. This is an economy version. They've cut a couple of things out. So, if we are uh, using it to start up, it's a non-volatile EEPROM memory. If I leave this in the start position, and I come over here, and I come over here to outputs, I'm going to relay one, I'm going to shut it off. Okay, which will stop the pump. Now we've left it in the run mode, so that when I come back over here, it comes right back to where it was. So you can see that, that the non-volatile memory remembers where it's left. So if you leave it in the on position, you can control it with your controller, just turn it on and off, on and off, it'll come right back on. It's, it's not gonna falter that way, okay? Now, if I'm gonna control this pump externally, which I do have my external cable hooked up, I've got it already put into the mode. Uh, what I wanna do is I wanna push both buttons, I'm gonna shut them off. I'm going to push both buttons at the same time. You can see it switches over to EXT. Okay, so now in the external mode, uh, the black and the brown are the pulses. So if you were sending in a flow meter, you'll see that every pulse, you get a stroke on the pump. Okay, simple as that. Okay. Now, there is a flow switch or a flow option to it, or like a low level or something like that. Say this was in low level. You send the low level right directly to this pump. See that that is on the blue and the white wires. So I'm going to connect those two. Okay, and it's a maintained signal like that, that you make it low level, shuts off. So now that I send the pulses to it, nothing. Because right now you'll see it didn't stop. You'll see a little stop will appear there. I'll release the stop. Now my level's fixed. Okay, that works with every other function that's in here. Say I've, I've reattached the low level. I'm going to switch it back to here. I'm going to try to turn it on, but it's not going to come on because it's in the stop mode. I'm going to release the stop. Okay, that's how that works. Okay, so. The blue and the white are a low level or a stop, basically flow, low level, something that some kind of maintain closure. The brown and the blue, or the bottom, I'm sorry, the brown and the black are the pulse. I gotta switch it back over. The brown and the black are the flow meter inputs. And you can see that it starts It starts displaying numbers there. And what it's trying to do is trying to show you what its average strokes per minute is based on that signal coming in. Really is irrelevant, but if you're looking at it and you can see that it's at like 180, you know you're getting about half of the output. Okay? This pump only has speed control adjustable. So the stroke on everything is 100%. It can't slow it down. So if you get one stroke every minute, you're going to get, you know, one globule of chemical a minute if you get two of them it kind of passes out if you can see what I mean in that that uh, it, it's gonna 
take a full stroke every one that you get. There's no way to slow it down on this version of it. If you needed to do that or you wanted a little bit more fine control, maybe you want to look towards the EWN series. It will uh, allow you dual adjustment, stroke and speed adjustment. Okay, guys?